Check it out. All right, guys, just like that, we back. We back with another super dope comic book haul. Not even a super dope comic book haul, but this is a super dope CGC unboxing. Way of my friend Bob here. Bob is a very good friend of mine. We're day one with this. We're, we're like the only collectors in this area. Um, and this is my crime partner. This is my partner in crime. And he's going to unbox the CGC uh, comic books that came in. What, what was it like last? This came in Thursday. Thursday. I've been holding these. I'm letting and not opening I'm, them. I'm letting him take so the I can show, do guys. This on I'm the show. Yeah, I'm let him take that. I'm gonna let him take over the show. This is his show right now. This is just on my channel. So I'm gonna let him take over the show. Have fun, guys. Uh yeah, so I uh I didn't even look, I didn't look on CGC to see what the grades were. This is my first CGC submission. And uh so a little bit uh backstory. I've been reading comics like my whole life. Right? Started with um with uh comic strips you know the sunday paper and uh that was some good shit that's uh you know i mean if you are into the sequential you know art form uh and you're not familiarized with the old school stuff from the the uh sunday paper um alley -oop, little abner dick tracy all that stuff is how i started reading comics and uh if you're not familiar with them, you should be um so anyway I'm, I'm trying not to. I want. I won't see the grade yet. Um, so I set um, seven books to CGC. Uh, never thought I would, but I have so many '90s books, and it's time for these books to start. Like, why? You know, my thought is, why shouldn't my '90s books start paying for some new books that I want to get? Not new, but you know, bigger price books. Like I have a giant run of Uncanny X-Men, or uh, I do, and I have a giant run of Amazing Spider-Man, but I don't have. Like, I don't have the first uh, Morbius, right? I don't have a 101. I got three 100s, no 101. So, uh, it's time for this to start paying for itself. All right, this is the first time I looked in one of these boxes. So, this is a bunch of 90s stuff. And I did this because I want to sell them. I don't want to sell a 90s book for 30 bucks if I could sell it for 200 bucks, right? If I submit to CGC. So, uh, one of these books has a little ding on it. It's a lethal protector. Uh, that foil, I couldn't do nothing with the foil. So I thought I would submit it just to see, because I got a bunch of those and I want to sell them. So I want to see what would happen, like what they, how would they would grade that. Everything else was perfect. No spine ticks, no corners, no folds, no dings, nothing. These were books I bought 30 years ago. Bagged them, boarded them, boxed them. They haven't seen the light of day. So I went over these things hard and, uh, and um, I'm trying to figure out my uh, my grading skills, right? So this is the back of this book, and I'm covering the this grade part here because I don't want to see it yet. Uh, you guys are seeing it, so I guess I should look at it now. All right, this is nine six. So this is oh no, this is the one with the ding. I think this is the one. This is a Spider-Man 2099, right? So this, I think this one had a tiny little ding in it. And I thought maybe this wouldn't be a 9.8. But I don't know. I could be wrong. If these all come back as 9.6s, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> no more money to CGC. I ain't doing it. Um, so, But foils is a little harder to get the little dings out, though. They aren't. Well, you can't really do it. So, yeah, there's no way to really do a ding on foils. Oh, like this that. is the one. Like you could dog, you could see, like there's down in this corner. Go look at down in that corner there. Right here. Yeah, this corner, it's you can really see it. insignificant, but you can see it. That one, so this is the one I thought that could if get it was a gonna be if it was gonna be anything other than a 98, this one would be the 96. So, so far, I'm right. So the rest of these perfect. Better than that. No dings. So no they should errors. all be 9.8s. All, all be 9.8s, right? Fingers crossed, guys. That's it. So <laughs> now i got to see how to open this thing up. So anyway, so uh, I've been buying books. I couldn't start buying comics until, you know, I had a job. 
you know, I got started young. I got married when I was 21, got my first job, had kids early, all that. So, in the mid-80s, I started buying books. I could be a real collector. Um, you know, I mean, when you're a kid, like, we didn't have no money. So, it wasn't like I could buy comics when I was a kid. Uh, I would get them as gifts. You know, if I could get 75 cents together, I'd go buy a book. So I didn't have a lot of books from then. But I went crazy uh, in the 80s. And in the 90s, specifically, I went berserk. Um, so that's why I have lots of copies of stuff. If you want to know, you know, you want to know why X-Men number one stole seven, sold seven million copies? Because I have a hundred. Okay, that's yeah. what everybody did. Everybody. That's yeah. why That's why it's like that. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I bought 20... Uh, spawn number ones, you know, but I also bought 10 young blood number ones, and uh, you know, that's you know, a lot of that, a lot of that image stuff, early image stuff was no good. It was like, you know, well, it's cool to have it. Like, I thought, you know, young blood, here's the first image book. Oh, I gotta buy 10 of these. Everybody thought they was gonna be rich, right? <laughs> Everybody thought they were gonna be rich off these books, and uh, for the longest time, they were worth nothing. So, now that all these 80s books have value, okay, here's another book, I'm not looking at it. Um, now that they have value, I figure I want to sell them. So, what is this? This is, oh, this has a custom label. So, I paid to, to expedite the books and to get the custom labels. Okay, Lethal Protector, 90. Boom. Oh, go. look at that. Beautiful. And I got the Venom, I did the Venom label at the top. So I paid extra for that. You can look at it. So I, I paid extra for that because I thought if I'm selling my books and I'm going up against a book that doesn't have that label and I have the label, if it's the same money, if I was buying it, I'd want the label. So that's why I paid the extra money for that. So I'm averaging on all these books, I averaged 50 bucks a book to grade them. So I got to get some money out of them. I mean, I gotta, they got to come back. Good. I gotta be able to sell these things. So okay, right. I know this is the X-Men book. I think from the back of this thing, I'm not looking. Okay. Uh, oh no, this is Spider-Man book. Ooh. Nine eight. Okay. Ooh. So this is the 365. First appearances. First. Now Spidey 2099 is getting hot. So I this is why I did this uh, book, and this is why I did the 20 the t other 2099 that was the 96, because when that movie comes out. I want to sell, I want to sell the books, right? So, and I got a few of these. So I picked my best copy, sent it, boom. So far, my uh, grading skills are on point. But it's pretty easy when there's nothing wrong with books. Yeah, basically. You know, when it's, that's, you know, I mean, it's hard. But, when it's, but you're a stifler for keeping your books in mint condition. Yes. That's why it's very important for people in the community to keep their books in mint condition. Once you get them, you have to keep them in the perfect home, man. You got to take care of them. So. Oh. Uh, oh. I'm disappointed, bro. But still, that's this, a beauty. No, 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 no. This should be a 9-8. This is yeah. the one I wanted to be 9-8. There's nothing wrong with this book. Not happy about this. This is this screws up my whole thing, bro. And I need of this book is solid money. There is nothing. Look at this. You look at it. You tell me what's wrong with that book. There's nothing wrong with that book. That messed up my. That's messed up my whole thing. CGC, you did me dirty. That book is perfect. That should be a nine nine. That book, nine six. That's terrible. Sometimes CGC hates on people, but if they did a nine a nine six, it would probably be. Because you see, like, it has, like, a little V, a little tiny V, and then right here. But That's it could have came from them. It could have came from them. Like, it's like a little V, like a little crease. Not, it's not no tick. It's not considered a tick, but it's like a V. It looked like a little. That's ticky tack garbage. Yeah, that this is. This should be a 9-8. Nine, eight. Nine, yeah. Eight about that. Yeah, he was probably drunk that day or something. He was well, he's probably done a hundred of those books. Yeah. And he's like, I'm tired of doing these at 9 eight. So... I'm doing it now. Uh, wait, wait, you can always crack it and resubmit it. I know. I could. Yeah. And then they'll and then do me dirty again. I'll give him another 50 bucks. Yeah, right? It's a money grab. Again. Yeah. Oh, he'll send it back. 
<laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> nah, that's not right, cool. So, let's see. That's not cool. That messes up my whole thing, bro. Makes me not happy. All right, so. Uh, what's that? 9-4. Wow. 9-4 on this x my book. Boy, I'm done with CGC. I don't know, bro. I don't see no color breaks in this book. Maybe I'm not good grader. That's possible. Uh, nobody's perfect. I'm not a good grader. Let me see that. Let's see, is that V again? You see the V? Oh, come on, bro. That don't break the color. I'm, I'm you can no. have, for, according to the, the guys I watched, right, you can have a color-breaking tick that's less than a uh, 16th of an inch. Right? There's nothing breaking the color on that book. And you know what I also noticed? They they didn't put the first appearance of Bishop. Like they didn't give the That's stupid. Yeah, they like, what they is that? like you you don't even see like the when they announce like yo, this is the first appearance of Bishop right. or uh cameo. Oh, this. you know what else too? I paid for the X Men label for this. Oh wow. I paid to get the X Men label for this thing. See, they slipping, y'all. As they did me That's dirty. one of the main reasons why I try not to use CGC. I want to, but then again, it's like, what do we do? I don't know. Not happy with CGC right yeah. now. These guys are not. Oh, oh. that's another 9-4. And that's the second appearance. Right. And Same thing. I paid for the X-Men label on this. And they didn't give you the they didn't label. They give it to me. Maybe after like a certain grade, they don't give it to you and refund you the money, maybe? I don't know. That's some bullshit, man. I'm not a good guy. I don't know what I'm doing, apparently, grading. Man, you know what you're doing, man. It's just... Dude, I don't know. Look at that button. There's, they no, color There's it's, no color breaks. Maybe it's a little there. roll. It's well, a slight... There's a slight roll and there's a dent right there. You see the dent? Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's a dent. Yeah. Yeah. A so, dent. maybe this is my fault. Maybe, you know, live and learn. Your, your, your glass is <laughs> made, <laughs> but... It, it, they be on some bullshit though, man. You got you got really with CGC, man. I think you really have to like put on your bifocals and you 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 gotta go deep on these well, guys. Well, you know what I should have done too, which I didn't do. The pre-screen. No. Or not? Well, I should have. Should have only on books that you know that. Yeah. Right. But the other thing is, I didn't press them. Oh, you I, did? So, no. I thought you worked on them. No, I didn't work on them at all. I looked at them. And thought it was good. And I thought I was good. Nah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I took a magnifying glass of these things. And, you could, uh... You could have done a light press, though. Light, little I press. should have done a light press and all. Yeah. That's the lesson to learn. Light press, guys. Light press before you send them right. out. So, same thing. Uh, all of these are nine fours, and I don't get do it. Do they have the first appearance on you? Uh, No. Oh, unbelievable. Why still, are they I doing paid that? For, I paid for X-Men labels on all these books. And this is the first appearance of Omega Red. It's not there. It doesn't say it. Unreal. Oh, you know where it says? It says on the back. Oh, it does? It says, uh, first appearance of Omega Red. So maybe it's on the back. First full appearance of Bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First appearance, Bishop Malcolm Wright. Oh, they got this is the first full appearance. Yeah, it is. This is the first cover appearance. Oh, that's the first yeah, full appearance. Yeah, I, uh, see, I got them both, but. Yeah. All right, so that's result. Not happy. Nine fours. Ooh, that's rough. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you got to do to. Uh, I mean, these books, these books, brand new, bag boarded, boxed. Never seen the light of day ever, and uh, and now I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm not selling these things for that yeah, four that, prices. Yeah, that's that's not gonna help me. I'm gonna sell the nine eight. Yeah, I'm you sell can the, sell the nine six. Maybe. I'm gonna sell the nine six. I'm gonna sell Just the make nine money, eight. Money bags. Yeah, I'll sell those, and then that'll pay for the, the submission, submission. But it ain't gonna give me the money that I want to go get the books that I want. So that's. First uh, experience with CGC. What I take from this is always press them first, even if they're brand new. Like if they're you, you know, you, they were brand new, bag boarded, boxed, perfect books. Give them a press because it looks like all these nine fours are nine fours because of 
some teeny tiny little bumps. And if you would have had pressure, you at least got at least a nine six out of it. Right. That's least, it. At least. At least. Right. So that's the that's the lesson. There you go. First CGC. Uh, CGC. I think you done me dirty. Uh, I think you didn't dirty too, CGC. But who knows? Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> it's possible too. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. Peace out. Thanks for experiencing my pain with me. Uh, and uh, have a nice life. All right, guys, you heard it from my man Bob himself, man. He's not, he's not, he's not all the way happy with his CGC uh, unboxing. But listen, man, we all live and learn. And um, CGC, man, you got you got one thing coming to you, man. You, you, listen, man, if we see you in them conventions, man, you're going to have a couple of gripes coming from us, man, because he should have got labels. With my labels. Yeah, his labels, man. He paid for the goddamn labels. Give the man his labels, Come goddamn on, it. All right, I'm going to leave it there and leave you guys to it, man. See you on the next one, man. This is Doggy, man. And expect more things like this coming to the channel, man. We're going to start doing a lot of this stuff. We're going to start experiencing more of the community and getting it out there to you people, man. And with that said, I'm going to leave you to it. That's all I got for you today. Stay safe. Stay sucker-free. Know what it is, Doggy, man. Ah, Doggy! Peace.